Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to format any drive to FAT32. The reason why you might want to do this is because you might want to use a external hard drive on a PS3 or a 360 or any type of system like that that runs FAT32. So anyways, I'm going to be showing you what you need. I'm going to have this link in the description, but you want to go to this website, and then all you need to do is download this tool. It's just called GUI Format, and you just click this picture right here, save the EXE, and you should be good to go. Now I'll show you the hard drive I have right here. So I have this 500 gigabyte external. I'll show you the properties. As you can see, if you check it out right here, it is NTFS. Now, if you try and just format it this way, I've already written zeros to the drive, um, so it should be good to go. But as you can see, there's only NTFS and XFAT. Now, XFAT does not work on either the PS3 or the 360. So, you're going to need to figure out how to format it to FAT32 somehow. And there is a way you can do it through command prompt, but I'll just show you a really easy way to do it through GUI format. So anyways, what you want to do is make sure you have any data you have on that drive that's important backed up and then come over here to our format tool select what drive you want now be very careful as you can see it shows here what drive it is but you want to make sure you're not formatting another drive in your computer for example if I formatted my one terabyte hard drive with all my data that'd be a bit detrimental right now but anyways what you're gonna do is you can pick your allocation size I'll just pick the biggest one your volume label uh, just make sure it doesn't go over any letters like if you make it too long like that it's just not going to work out another thing you need to know about fat 32 is if you don't already know this you are limited to a 4 gigabyte file limit cap that means any file cannot exceed more than 4 gigabytes so just keep that in mind anyways what you want to do is just go ahead hit quick format when you check all these settings hit start and it We'll go ahead and format your drive. Now as you can see it is very fast and once it is completely formatted it should be done. Let's go ahead and close it. I'll open up the properties here again and as you can see my drive is now FAT32 and it is the same drive I was working with. So now this will recognize it in your 360 and your PS3 if you want to put music or videos on here or whatever but that's it. Anyways this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching everyone.